don't get any of it. Um, it's also been one of the hardest jobs as a publicist with 20 years experience, um, one of the hardest jobs to publicise I've ever encountered. Um, thank heavens for Kim Hill. Um, but consequently, we didn't reach anywhere near our target. I think we got about $3,000. Um, we're scrimping by, even while Hordor is here, to try and reimburse him for his international flights. Uh, if any of you have any spare cash, there's a Koha pen at the door. It would be hugely grateful. Um, uh, this also couldn't have happened without Lisa Err. Um, she is Lisa's Hummus, and uh, she's now started the Awareness Party um, in Auckland. They have kind of seven principles of which um, all people are equal being one of the basics. Um, and I was very lucky in that people jumped on board and said, you know, I'm happy to take over Christchurch and I'm happy to take over Auckland. Um, so a big thank you to Rafe Manji at Sustento in Christchurch and Alan Vaddock in Dunedin who's, um, who's handled the rest of this. Phantom Bill stickers have come on board. Uh, I think there was a bit of a hiccup in Wellington, but, um, but they've been putting out posters for us for nothing. And Scoop Media have also been running ads for free for us. So I'd like to say thank you to those people. Um, and particularly Stephen Robertson, who designed the posters for us. Um, oh, there's a, um, an asset sale, which I hope you're all aware of, um, the uh, March Against Asset Sales on Saturday, the 27th of April. Um, and uh, there should be a, um, a petition going around today um, about trying to prevent what happened in Iceland from happening in New Zealand. So um, if you sign that, it will also be a great help. Thank you. I will now go and get four, four, I, I can't pronounce it. <laughs>